Chers auditeurs, Dear listeners, bonjour. Welcome in Comme d'Archi Podcast Season 3. Saison 3 dans le monde fascinant des architectes. And in the architectural projects. Je suis Anne-Charlotte de Ponte, passionnée d'architecture et docteur des universités en histoire de l'archi. I am one of the spokespersons of Anne Charlotte, who is a PhD in architecture history. Merci. Thank you. D'être avec moi aujourd'hui. To be with us today. Et and maintenant, now, lundi en français, place au talent. And Wednesday, let's talk projects. In English, of course. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Dear listeners, good morning. This is Esther on behalf of Anne Charlotte. It's good to meet you again in season 3 of Comme d'Archi, episode 57, with the formulation work by Leonard Catoni, landscape engineer, Charlene Rollet, Manon Benissel, architects, and Emmanuel Blondeau, architect urbanist in Paris, France. Their project is located in Niort, France. They are winners of European 16. Niort, a land port. The IPCC report, Working with the Living. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change report from the 9th of August 2021 is irrevocable. The human action on economic, urban and productive development has transformed the exchange approach and the environmental control. We will be facing frightening and uncontrollable events. Rising floodwaters, drafts, heavier and less distributed rainfalls. These results will redistribute the overall, the human living, a wide-ranging and invisible concept, however, in the center of our current concerns. We are interested particularly in the city of Niort and its relation to the coast and its geography. Do we have to battle against the elements by reinforcing the dikes, by increasing protection against the inevitable rising floodwaters? Or should we support the rising floodwaters in its variation? We are sure that the second option is the right one. This thinking is the starting point of our reflection on geography and land. Our approach first focused on the land, the observation and the decoding, the understanding and the survey of the potential assets a vegetal and cultural heritage, rich and diverse views, invisible property, over-calibrated installations, numerous activities, rich grounds, the presence of water, a variety and abundance of landscapes, starting point of various shades of land. Reverse top priorities, landscape and the user at the center. 1. Reshuffle game rules, from anthropocentrism to biocentrism. Key players of territories insist on rethinking the land use planning and human positioning in the city and its infrastructure. The pattern could be that the suburbs can be the peak of modernity with the auto as an urban tool and the city center as a fortress of heritage. However, this rough pattern cannot be a logical layout anymore. Solutions exist. It is mandatory to find resources, quality, comfort, bonds between feeders' environment and human living environment, between travels entering cities and towns. In order to find a proper answer to these issues and the resilience of cities' entries, it is essential to change the paradigm and place the landscape and the user at the heart of the reflection. 2. The landscape as a complex and living tool. Our landscape approach starts with the geography at the center of the territory. Existing landform, environment and landscape are sanitary markers of our environment and should guide our urban approach. Ground footsteps are routes to navy geographic phenomena decline. Geographic creation by sedimentation and sloughing explains the living land. Also, tides and short days explain our coastal anthropization and urban retro coastline. This geological, geographic and landscape chain brings us to place our thinking on the landscape in the wide sense and be a land tool to reflect upon. We consider the landscape as a clever, resilient and living tool. This is a complex tool that welcomes life in every step. Microbial, microflora, aviflora and human. This is the link between humans and the earth. 3. Identify Niort and its suburb as a land port. This is our common property, the only living organism that grows against the law of gravity and that men need in order to live. We are approaching the landscape through its complexities and translations, the ground, horizons, vegetal and water layers. We are suggesting to reevaluate the approach of the land use planning. Niort is considered as a land harbor based on water landscape and agricultural spaces. 
East, North and South areas are focused on urbanism and have broken relations with the landscape. This is why it is important to define better limits between landscape and users' mobility in order to reconsider the identity of Niort. 4. Co-build the common good of tomorrow For a start, we suggest rethinking mobilities of porosities to landscape to water. Water is a great identity driver for Niort. Sèvres, Lambon and Guyot's valleys constitute a specific living geography. Waters from salt marshes, city water, river water are forming a large variety of situations that create identity shades. Water towers are representing visual markers in the urban land. A real consistency with urban schemes is needed. We would like to reconsider entries in the city regarding the landscape in order to link them better. Creating a porous landscape is the key to have a better practice and control local entries. Local starts with agricultural landscapes that face business parks or housing development. Glossary, a cognitive tool. The concept of common sense is a source of investigation and problem overview on the overall territory. We approach the territory by understanding its balances and weaknesses. We really try to think of the future as a long-term project and to build outside the box of residential, ecological and business center zoning. We have been working on building a soft tool that answers the livability of living areas, glossary. Four big assets. One, a smooth tool. It is a template that gives answers to multiple landscape and urban contexts. Two, a democratic tool, capable of gathering the different territory players and to work with the constitution. Three, a living tool. It preaches living in the heart of the urban planning process through area unification and the building of ecotones. Four, a legal and transverse tool. It is here to open up issues and to build a clear strategy of actions between a basic view and a landscape project. We are looking forward to create a development tool that is sustainable, alive and open to the future. This is the driver that draws limits of tomorrow's changes. The glossary is a tool to help analyze territory decisions. A survey to update PLU into PLUE is needed by the agglomeration. It is time to consider nature on the same level as urban building. The PLNUE, Intercommunal Natural Development and Urbanization Plan. The agglomeration has a vision for the future of the territory through the upcoming creation of its PLUE. The development of this comprehensive planning document is an opportunity to anchor a strong philosophy that anticipates the necessary adaptation to climate change at work. We would like the protective and resilient role of nature to be erected at the same level as the act of building and the organization of travel, within a local plan of nature and intercommunal town planning. The PLNUE is the starting point for territorial solidarity and rebalancing of forces. We wish to offer the inhabitants, actors and decision makers of the Niortes agglomeration a support to think about the future based on the saving resource that is living heritage. Designed as a real tool for the climatic and natural adaptation of the territory, it guarantees the coherence and unity of the action beyond the municipal limits. To illustrate this approach, we formulate five strategies for the mutual enhancement of the city, nature and agriculture destined to be applied in the Intercommunal Natural Development and Urbanization Plan. 1. Revealing the valley system, the large park of the Niortes valleys. 2. Rethinking infrastructures as ecological, multimodal and scenographic corridors, the land sea axis. 3. Activate and thicken the agri-urban edges, Ecotones. 4. Enriching the loop of the third millennium, the artistic, cultural and gastronomic route. 5. Recycle business parks into urban ecosystems, desirable city entrances. Dear listeners, thank you for tuning in. Let's meet again next week for a new Kamdashi in English. And until then, take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. Thanks to Julien Robourg, sound engineer, who is collaborating with us today. Don't forget to tune in to our previews on Instagram at Comdarchi Podcast. If you enjoy this podcast, don't hesitate to promote it by giving it five stars and a little comment on Apple Podcast or on your favorite podcast platform. And above all, subscribe to listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon. 
And until then, take care of yourself.